This is the Jingmai Mountain, located in southwest China's poor city, which boasts large areas of ancient tea trees. With a high ecological and economic value, for centuries the trees have played an important part in local people's lives and been well preserved. Every year, when we blonde people are ready to pick the tea leaves, we will first worship the tree deemed as the soul in our garden to show our gratitude for what it has given us and pray for a good harvest. Today, as the popularity of the poor tea keeps growing, the mountain has also attracted more attention. To pursue sustainable development, Local tea farmers have founded a so-called Integrity Alliance, which requires all members to sell high-quality tea products cultivated in an eco-friendly way, and financial institutions are lending a helping hand. We encourage local banking institutions to increase credit lines for the Alliance members and provide them preferential loan interest rates. As of the end of November, a total of some $90 million of credit funds have been granted. The practice on the Qingmai Mountain is just one example. As a typical ecologically diverse area, the poor city has been exploring innovative financing methods to support its green development in recent years. This pulp and tissue paper manufacturer is one of the largest in southwestern China with 80,000 hectares of forests as its raw material base. In February, a local banking institution issued 6 million yuan, or about $860,000 of loan to the company, taking its first carbon sinks as the pledge. This financing operation turns our ecological resources into ecological assets and helps us find an effective path to combine ecological protection with industrial development. As a major habitat for Asian elephants, Pura has also launched a wildlife public liability insurance program to promote a harmony between humans and wild animals. Since 2020, more than $3 million have been insured every year, and the compensation standard has been continuously improved.